Guys, let me be brutally honest with you. Time is not on your side anymore. We've been bottomed out on Bitcoin from 15K for about a year, and the halving is just in four months from now. We know as per the four-year cycle that the halving triggers the bull market, and with the bull market approaching, we are answering very big questions today. Three important questions that everyone needs the answer to. When will that bull market top out? Where will that bull market top out? And when will we break 69K and into price discovery on Bitcoin? Three big questions answered very concisely, answered very simply, and given all the evidence substantiating the answers. Guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, there's no point me sitting here yabbering on today for 35 minutes when I can get this done in 10 or 15, right? Today, I've got three very precise questions to answer. The questions are, when will Bitcoin see the peak of its bull market? Where will Bitcoin see the peak of its bull market? And the third question is, when will Bitcoin enter the bull market? When will it break its current all-time high and put in an all-time high and enter price discovery? So three questions. When, right, will we top out in the bull market? Where will we top out in terms of price? And the third question is, when will we break 70K essentially? So when will we enter that bull market? When will we enter the phase where Bitcoin's in price discovery again? Because that's when the heart comes back to the market, right? Now, all of these questions, right, have a, a, a fundamental basis in the four-year cycle. Without the four-year cycle, these don't these questions that can't be answered, okay? The, the only way these questions can be answered to any reasonable extent is through the four-year cycle because the four-year cycle gives us evidence to answer the questions historically, right? 10 years of data, 30, uh, 11 years of data, I should say, since the first halving in 2012. So what is the four-year cycle? Very brief explanation because everyone knows what it is by now. Four-year cycle is a trend on Bitcoin that is kicked off by the halving, right? The halving represents the start of a new cycle. The cycle lasts four years. Within that four-year period, we see a bull market, we see a bear market, and we see a two-year accumulation phase. The bull market lasts a year, okay? The bear market lasts a year, and the two-year accumulation phase lasts two years. That's four years altogether, hence the word, hence the term, I should say, four-year cycle. Now, this is not a theory. This is an exact trend. It has happened three separate times. We've seen three separate bull markets. Okay, we've seen three separate bear markets, and we've seen three separate accumulation zones. We're in our third current accumulation zone. So this is not a theory anymore. It's a trend. It's very much true on Bitcoin. It's based on multiple date range trends. You can see uh, on the left-hand side of the screen right now, I've just circled it. You can see the date ranges I've got there. 1,400 days between top to top, that's happened three times. 1,400 days between bottom to bottom, that's happened twice. Uh, 1,064 days from bottom to top, that's happened twice, it's happening a third time. And then 500 days from bottom to top, and, and that has happened three separate times. So three of those five date range trends are established trends, and two of them are still forming. But three trends based on a larger overall four-year cycle trend, this is pretty much very concrete. And this suggests, right, through these date range trends here that I've just circled, we can, we can very much make the conclusion that Bitcoin should be topping out in its bull market in October, around October 2025. That should be when the bull market peaks, okay? If we're going to follow the four-year cycle, which we have no reason to believe we won't be doing because we've had every reason to believe it's working, right? For example... It worked in 2021, it worked in 2022 with the bottom, it's working so far, we're on track so far, there's no real reason to believe it's not going to work out this time, and so the trend is your friend until it ends. Based on the four-year cycle, we should be topping out in around October 2025. That's the first question answered. When should we do, be topping out in the bull market? October 2025. Now, before we answer the second question, I just want to quickly... Uh, add to that, right? How do we know we're on track where well, we can look at what we've done previously in this chart here uh, from the cycle top, from the bull market top on the left-hand side to the break of the cycle top? We can see in the previous two cycles, we followed basically the exactly the exact same time frame. The patterns were different, but the time frame was the same. We broke uh, the all-time high around the same time, and we're pretty much on track with that this time. You can look at our, our current cycle we're not really, we're a little bit deviating to the upside right now, but we've got signs of Bitcoin showing exhaustion. So we could come back down to the baseline, come back to that, down to the mean and break the all-time high around the same time as the previous two cycles, which would leave us perfectly on track with the four-year cycle. So we are actually on track of the four-year cycle. Yes, we are deviating a little bit too high right now. I did a whole video based on that yesterday. I'm not overly concerned by it. Uh, you know, for example, we, de we deviated quite high in 2019 as well, and we ultimately came back down to the baseline. So I'm not concerned about it yet. Uh, but let's get into, because we'll jump back into this chart in a second, right? But I want to recap. We've answered the first question. The first question is, based on the four-year cycle, we should be topping out in the next bull market uh, in around October 2025. And the next bull market will be starting officially after the halving, which is in April 2024. So 
we're like four months away from the halving essentially not a long time until the halving right so not a long time at all we we do have to start uh taking it a little bit seriously it's getting closer and closer only about 120 130 days left so it's getting closer and closer and as we approach the halving as we approach the start of the next bull market the start of the next cycle we have to consider questions like this you know we have to consider like bitcoin uh you know speculatively topping out in october 2024 at five and we have to consider questions like where will bitcoin top out okay so this is where we get into the second question where what price will bitcoin top out at now i have mathematical formulas to to kind of decide this now obviously it's very very difficult uh to get exact price predictions years in advance literally two years in advance of where bitcoin's going to be two years from now especially in the chaos of the bull market uh and we also don't have a dramatic amount of historical data when it comes to price points we only really have them based on date ranges and the the reason is because dates are are concrete dates are solid dates are rudimentary Price increases are subject to change because of increased market capitalization because of diminished returns. So it's very difficult to get price predictions on a, on a market cycle like Bitcoin. And that's why we're going to come to a vague conclusion in this video. We've had conclusions in the past. My past conclusion was uh, we're going to be topping out between 103K and 197K in October 2025. That is still true to an extent. However, we use three formulas to come to that prediction. Uh, three separate formulas because it's kind of hard to actually determine which one is correct, which one is the most correct. Because as I said, we don't have much data. We have to just kind of shotgun it, right? In a way, we have to just kind of spray and pray and just hope for the best in the sense of making predictions with these kind of uh, long, to- long time frame based on loose evidence kind of stuff. So what have we said in the past? Well, we had three formulas. We had two down here. All right, basically, we tried to take, you know, different measurements from Bitcoin historically from bottom to halving, from top to bottom, from bottom to top. And we just kind of tried to apply that together, establish a uh, formula for kind of, you know, in- accounting for diminishing returns. Everything's accounted for. We came up with three formulas. One of the formulas suggested we'd see 120K in Q4 2025. One of them suggested we'd see 103K and one of them suggested we'd see 196K. So this is how I came to the conclusion that we're going to be seeing 103k to 196k uh in q4 2025 as the bull market top in october 2025 as the bull market top but it's very interesting to note right because one of these formulas actually suggests that we'd be seeing 39k at the halving which seems like it won't happen right because we're above 39k right now but realistically it is a possibility right if bitcoin goes down with always corrects and and we we could actually end up at that price halving around 39k it's very very reasonable to assume that could happen uh, and then the other two of them suggest we'd go actually upwards to something like 63k before the halving which is actually very very optimistic so it, it's very difficult for us to be able to have any concrete predictions about where bitcoin will be in october 2025 without having the data point of the halving the halving is a fundamental part as i've established to the four-year cycle it kicks off the new cycle if we don't have the data point for where bitcoin will be in price point at the halving in april 2024 exactly it's very difficult to have an exact target for the all-time high in 2025 and this is why yes i've deleted these numbers on the screen here because i do understand there is a chance that this first formula could be wrong we could go higher than 39k at the halving but in the same stroke, I'm also understanding that these formulas down here could be long. We could be we we could be much lower than 63k at the halving. So realistically, uh, there's a very good chance that Bitcoin could could be doing uh, either of these things. It could be going down before the halving. It could be going up before the halving. I do think we'll see a correction before the halving, but that doesn't necessarily mean we'll have to stay corrected. You know, by the time we get to the halving. So in all in all, it's very difficult for me to make any concrete predictions and anyone really to make any concrete predictions about where Bitcoin will be in October 2025, even though I'm able to narrow down the date to October 2025, that's very much concrete. It's very difficult to give price time to that point in time because we don't have the data we need yet. When the halving comes, when we see the halving, I believe it's April 23rd at this point in time, that's when it's coming in. When we get the data point, when we see what price Bitcoin will be at at the halving, that's when we can actually input a pretty concrete uh, prediction about where Bitcoin will be. I reckon we'll be able to get it down to a 30,000 USD range, right, for where Bitcoin will top out in October 2025. I genuinely do. But until that point, we have to remain vague. We have to remain rough. Unfortunately, at this point, the best we can do is Bitcoin will be at around 103K to 196K between uh october 2025 and november 2025 around that time period so i think even that though obviously it's vague obviously 103k to 196k that's a pretty big price range right but even that is actually a pretty concrete prediction i'm giving you a a range on bitcoin a pretty significant range that rules out ridiculously low price targets like 80k and rules out ridiculously high price targets like 500k i'm giving you a reasonably 
uh, evidential based you know, target 103 to 196k. Yes, it's vague, but it also rules out quite a lot. And it's it's actually precise enough to be useful. And on top of that, I'm also giving you a pretty concise date range that is not subject to change between around that October 2025 region. Realistically, it could stem a bit into September, maybe a bit into November, but that's the vague region we're looking at there. So I think that's pretty useful. That's question two answered. So question one, again, was when will the peak be? It will be probably around October 2025. Question two was where will the peak top out? Around 103K to 196K, subject to change based on the halving. Could be high, could be lower, could be somewhere within that range. We'll have to see at the halving, but that's the vague vague speculation at this point in time i would actually label that more as an observation rather than a prediction i don't like the word prediction because it's not really a prediction it's i'm, I'm not at, very much very much aware of the fact that it's based on limited data so i'm not willing to call that a prediction it's more of a more of an observation um, but those formulas are unique they're mine of course and then the third question is when will we break all-time highs when will we break above 70k now this is a very easy question to answer just using this chart we looked at before, uh, basically it takes around 1,100 days in the last two cycles for Bitcoin to go from all-time high to all-time high, right? From breakout, uh, from from break below all-time high, from from a drop from its all-time high to a break back above that level. So I believe that Bitcoin will be reaching uh, an all-time high, will be reaching above 70k according to the SQL theory. Uh, yes, it's not a, not a particularly solidly back trend. I will admit that it's vague. It could be off by a couple hundred days, but realistically, it should be around November 2024. That's when we should be reaching uh, 70K on Bitcoin. Yeah, again, it could be a couple hundred days uh, or a hundred days off like it was last time. For example, we reached a uh, break of the all-time high about 1,180 days uh, in 2017. It took about 1,096 days, so about a hundred days less. And, you know, if we got a hundred days less than that, you know, cool. It could be something like, it, it could be as early as something like, let's see, 99 it could be something like August 2024, or it could extend further. It could be something like, you know, April 2025, but it's somewhere in that price region. You know, late next year, around that zone, give or take 100 days, that's really screwed when we're looking to break all-time highs, when we're looking to break 70K on Bitcoin. And I think that's very well grounded in what the cyclical theory suggests, because obviously the cyclical theory suggests we see um, a breakout uh, into a bull market after the halving. The halving's in April. If we're looking... You know, anywhere between say say August, for example, onwards. That's only a few months. You know, after the halving, gives us time to uh, accumulate on Bitcoin, move upwards on Bitcoin. Seems reasonable to me. So we've answered three very important questions today. Okay, question one: When will the top be? Around October 2025. Where will the top be? Around 103 to 196k, subject change based on the halving. But at the halving, we'll be able to narrow that down quite significantly. And when will we break 70k on Bitcoin? Again, it's it's vague, but around Q4 next year around that time period maybe a bit before maybe a tad after i'm going to lean towards a bit before to be honest with you just based on how we're moving right now but around that q4 region seems very reasonable based on what we've seen historically guys that is the video it's very simplistic very straightforward i hope you found it useful there's lots of information in here there's questions people spend hours trying to answer i've just answered them in bloody what 15 minutes 10 minutes so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed please stick around to the end here if you want more quality analysis, but specifically on altcoins, including altcoin buying signals, okay, buying, selling, stop loss, whatever it may be, targets, VIP group on Telegram is for you. We give altcoin trading signals on there. We have a full PDF with all of our trading results, all the wins, all of the losses, fully transparent on there with an 80% win rate. Check it all out below. Get in that group. It's very, very useful, especially for the bull market. You'd need it. And then also, if you're looking for an exchange to trade on or buy on, whatever you're doing, uh, it's very important you have one, right? One that's not going to scam you, one that's not going to overcharge you in fees. That's where BingX Exchange and BitGet Exchange come in. BingX is global non-KYC. BingX is global minus the USA and it's KYC. So depending, depending on your location and depending on your preferences for an exchange, either of these one are good. Uh, both of them have my referral links down below with 15% trading fee discounts for life exclusively with my referral link. So get even cheaper. They've never been hacked before. They have protection funds in case they get hacked to reimburse you. Very low trading fees, very accessible. Check them out, guys. You need to do that. If you want a good exchange, those are the ones. BingX and BitGet, links down below. And then the Crypto Academy, Become a Trader 10 Unit Course. If you want to learn how to trade in a university style format course with slideshows, worksheets, videos, trading diaries, it's all there on the website. All the information is there, including our contact address. Chuck us an email. We'll get back to you shortly with all the information. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you tomorrow.